Hey man, this is a continuation of the Vlad interviews. This one is specifically about Tupac. So I just want to say to the fans right now, I hope y'all just enjoy the interview, man. Don't take none of my words out of context because uh, I got major love for Pac, his people, everything. So with that said, man, I hope y'all enjoy the interview and may the brother rest in peace, man. Go. On. At one point, the Tupac situation happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tupac got killed in Vegas. Right. Now, there's a lot of different stories behind what happened, mm -hmm. but the one name that would always pop back up is Orlando. Right, that was my best friend, actually. Orlando Anderson? Uh, Orlando Anderson, his name is Baby Lane. From Baby Southside Lane. Compton Crip, yeah. Okay. So, what do you know about that situation? <clears throat> Basically, um, the day after the incident happened, when he came from Las Vegas, you know, I, I guess he was questioned by the police and all this, because, you know, they jumped him. Tupac, well, Tupac helped, but Suge's homies jumped him. Right. <clears throat> Suge was involved in it also. Suge was involved in it also. So what happened was, prior to them going to Las Vegas for the Mike Tyson fight, I think the homie Lane and some other homies, they seen somebody that was on death row at the time inside the mall in Lakewood. And I think they rushed him, beat him up, took his death row chain or whatever. Was there was there a reason behind this or no? Because like Suge them, they come from the mob. They they from Mob Piru. Orlando and them from Southside Compton Crips. So Pyrus and Crips already don't get along. But I think the mob in the South was already feuding anyway. I think they was already beefing on the street. And the fact that anybody representing Death Row basically to any homies is like you from over there or you representing what they. You representing they thing, so you you know what I mean? So I think it was something initially like that. <clears throat> um, I think it was something initially like that. And they, I guess when they ended up rushing the dude, they took the little death row chain. And from what I heard was the homie Lane, I heard he had the chain on walking through the MGM after the fight. And he was already a reputable cat from the street, so I'm sure Suge knew who he was. Okay. Because his uncle, you know what I'm saying, his uncle named Keefy D, he was like a G from Compton. Suge probably went to school with him back when they was little, you know what I mean? And plus, he, he had a lot of money. So I think when they seen him walking through uh, walking through the MGM that day, somebody must have been like, oh, you know, it must have been some words going back and forth. And that's when you seen on camera with all the dudes, like, rushing him, stumping him up. So Orlando actually was wearing the MGM chain? I, I, the I mean, so it was wearing the death row so. chain? I think so. The walk around the casino. If I can it. remember correctly, I think he was. Wow. Pretty bold. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Like, you, you say it's bold, but, you know, the mentality of where we come from and the reputations that we got, we, we don't care. Like, it's right. like, we ain't thinking about, oh, if somebody sees us, because we know if somebody, you know, the way we feel, we feel invincible. You know what I'm saying? Back in those days anyway, because nobody would dare in their right mind put their hands on us without realizing the consequences. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But he got hands and feet put on him. Yeah, by a day. bunch of people, though. By a bunch of people. Yeah. And, you know, it showed Suge in the footage, you know, right, and so forth. And Tupac was involved in it. Pac came and got a couple kicks in. Uh, was Pac the one that really approached him first? I doubt it. I, I don't see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Baby Lane gets jumped. Mm -hmm. Was it just him or him and his, his, his homie? It was just him at the time. Just him. Yeah, I think everybody else, you know, it was after the fight. Everybody else was probably moving and shaking, trying to make something happen, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he just happened to be right there. They called him slipping, you know? Yeah. Because if he wasn't, you know, best believe it would have been like a, a bigger fight than that. Okay. You know what I mean? And I was thinking like, damn, like I was so hurt when I seen that. Because I was like, I know I'd have been right there with him. You know what I'm saying? But I had just left Vegas like a week before that. You know what I mean? And I wasn't the type to go to, you know, fights and all that anyway, so. But I was just like, I wish I was there. Like, okay. that's how I felt at the time. He talked to you after that? After the incident? Yeah, he came to my house the next day. Was he beat up? Nah, he, they didn't really hurt him, man. Like, he covered his face. They was, like, hitting him in the ribs and all that. Like, he, he covered his face on the ground, so he wasn't hurt or nothing. Okay. He wasn't hurt or beat or nothing. Like, I think sometimes, like, people don't know, like, when you're going to rush somebody, you can't do it. If you're going to beat up one person with multiple people, it really only take two dudes to do that, to really hurt a person. Like when you got five dudes trying to hit one person, you ain't gonna really do nothing. Right. 
So I think that that was the situation. So then he goes back home to Compton. Right. But then at one point he gets killed. Yeah, man, he got killed due to a uh, <clears throat> to a situation. Yeah, he uh, supposedly it was a dude who owed him some money. And as he's riding through Compton, I guess he was going back to where his grandmother stayed. And as they was riding, they was on a the laundry. They was coming by Compton High School. And from what I heard, they seen the dude over there at the car wash. So from what I heard, they pulled up. And he got out and confronted the dude. And once it started kind of getting heated, guns started getting pulled or whatever. So this and had like, nothing to do with the Tupac thing. Had nothing to do with Tupac. No. Had nothing to do with death row. Because when you heard about it, the first thing you everybody, thought was... Yeah, of course everybody going to associate it with that. But no, nah, okay. none of these people had nothing to do. They was other Crips. You know what I'm saying? These was other Compton okay. Crips. Yeah. But I did hear that after Tupac got killed, that a war broke out in Compton. Of course. He got... Baby Lane got shot up real bad. He got shot, in, he got shot all in his kneecap with AK-47. He was wheelchair bound for like, shit, maybe like a year or more. He was in a wheelchair. He had to learn how to walk again and everything. Wow. So, but mm -hmm. a full blown war broke out. Yeah. Because I told you they was already, it was already, the beef was going on before that. Right. But this right here. But this right here kind of sparked it up because, you know, Shug got money. How many people got killed, do you think, right after that? <sighs> if you were to guess. If I were to guess, I'm going to say. Conservatively, maybe seven people. From both sides? Yeah. All together. Okay. And that's just from what I can remember. And I'm sure it probably was people that I don't even know, but from the people that I know, yeah, I think it was like seven people. Well, what what can you tell, you know, can you share about the conversation you had with with Baby Lane over that? I mean, saying? that's my homeboy, man. Like, like I said, like, I wish I was there, actually, when that whole incident happened because... I felt, I felt that it could have been me. You know what I'm saying? Because like me and Lane, we've been best friends since we was like 11 years old. When I seen that incident happen, I was just like, it pissed me off. Like, you know what I mean? It made me want to go and try to find somebody and do something to him. And this is just, you know, looking back on the way I felt at that time. But I can't really tell you what ensued because I would never sell my homie out. But I know that, you know, they did accuse him for killing Tupac. Because, you know, the feds came. The feds came after Pac died, did a sweep, took everybody to jail, and tried to pin all these cases on him, but they didn't stick. So they actually tried to pin the murder Absolutely. On, on Orlando. Yeah, they did. But they had no evidence. They had no evidence. They, they dropped it. Yeah. Mm -hmm.